Welcome back to another video guys. Today the Subaru is going to get a new look. Well, kind of a new look. So one thing I've been wanting to do for a while now is getting rid of this wheel gap right here. So we're going to be lowering the car both front and rear and then we're going to put a nice new lip on the front to give it a lower look. First things first, we're gonna give it a wash because it's really dirty. And I've been doing some little modifications, if you will, to the power washer I got. So I got quick disconnects for the hoses and the end of the gun right here. And then I have another quick disconnect for the garden hose that goes on here. And then for the foam cannon, I did the 1.1 millimeter orifice mod on it so hopefully we get a lot more foam and then i went to walmart and picked up a few of these uh distilled water gallons so hopefully we do a better job than the last video i know in the last video there wasn't much foam but it was honestly my first time and i kind of went a little low on the solvent i used so I put a lot more this time, so we'll see how it goes. So if you know anything about GC8s, you know that this is a original version six uh, lip on the bumper right there. And we're not gonna be replacing it. We're not gonna be taking it off. We actually got a new lip we're gonna install. And it's an Easy Lip Pro. So the guys at Easy Lip Pro were cool enough to sponsor us, so we got that lip that we're going to be installing, and they also gave us a little goodie bag, which brings a lanyard, uh, air fresheners, stickers, and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and install this after we go ahead and wash the Subaru. So I think for today, we're going to go ahead and wash the car and then uh, bring it into the garage and jack it up and put it on jack stands. And I think that's all we're going to get to today because the weather here in Virginia is really bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, so here in Manassas, Virginia, as you can see, it's 89 de or 90 degrees and it feels like 100. So not ideal weather to be out here in. So we're going to take our time with this. So we're going to go ahead and wash it today. And then tomorrow we'll be installing the lip after we know everything is clean so the tape can adhere perfectly to the bumper. So here are some of the mods that I did to this power washer. Like I said, it has a quick, quick disconnect here in the front for the pressure hose. And then for the garden hose, we got the same thing going on. And there it is. So the other end goes right onto the gun right in here Let's see there you go and you're ready to start spraying so before we start washing this thing um, it's really hot here in Virginia and I really want to get an AC unit here in the garage and Emily's not a big fan of me spending loads of money so she told me if I can get 15 subscribers off of this video then she wouldn't be mad at me doing it so if you guys can help me out and hit that subscribe button I would greatly appreciate it. I'll give you guys a second right now to go do that. All right, now let's get this thing clean. All right, boys, look at this super thick foam that came out this time. Like, it's just, it's thick. So, that mod I did, along with adding more of the soap, really did the trick. All right, and there she is, all cleaned up. Now it's just time to put her in the garage and lift her up put her on some jack stands and give her some more low. 
All right, just so you guys can get an idea of how little I drive this car, it feels like 100 degrees out today and I left the climate control on hot the last time I drove it. So now it's time to turn the AC on because it's hot. All right, she's in the garage. Now I'm just gonna put her on some jack stands and take the wheels off and get ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna be lowering the coilovers tomorrow because as you can see, I'm already drenched in sweat. And I wanted to start this video yesterday, but I just couldn't because if you saw my last video, I was pretty sunburnt and I've been peeling these last couple of days, so Yesterday I couldn't stand a shirt, I was so itchy, so I had to start today, and today's super hot, so I'm just gonna have to work into tomorrow. All right, boys, day two. I've been working on lowering the coilovers, and I put it on the ground, and basically the tire touches on the fender right here, both front and rear, so this is gonna turn into a two-part video, um my friend jason let me borrow this fender roller so shout out jason for that and we'll be installing the fender liners that i never put on the car after i got it painted which was like over a year ago so we're gonna be putting those on then bending this lip in hopefully i can run those while you know bending this in um so yeah so today we're gonna just work on getting the lip on and in the next video, you'll see it on the ground with the fenders rolled, sitting nice and flush. So Easy Lip suggests that you mock it up real quick and then you go all around the car and then you cut off the excess because they give you a roll of eight feet just to be sure it'll fit any application. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll put you guys on a tripod and we'll get to work. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it a little long so that I know I'm not short on anything. All right, so the next thing is you have to wipe it down with some alcohol. So uh, I had Chick-fil-A for lunch and they came in clutch with these alcohol wipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these real quick and get it all cleaned up. Alright, I just got a package from Amazon. And I've been waiting on this little thing. Let me just go make sure it works. Alright, we're good. So, I'll show you guys what I got at the end of the video. I promise it'll be worth it.
All right, guys, so I have it halfway on basically. And oh my God, it's looking super nice. So far, I like it. So Easy Lip says that do it little by little and then heat up the tape so it can make really good contact. And I mean, once it's on, like it's not coming off. So I'm super stoked. Oh my God, the final product looks amazing. Like you can't ask for a better lip than this. It just flows so nicely with the whole bumper. And honestly, I thought this angle was a little too much when I first got it. But now that I see it on the car, I think it looks phenomenal. I love this look hell yeah so with lowering the coil over some and adding this the car is going to look super low now so i'm excited all right guys so this is what i got in the mail from amazon right now well it's actually only this that i got i've had this already but i couldn't use it because i needed this piece so i got this piece so now i have a short gun to use with my foam cannon but this piece actually brought a brand new foam cannon with the whole kit which I don't need so I guess I have an extra one I know I told you guys that I would make it worth it if you stuck around till the end so I'll be giving away that foam cannon I got four things you have to do in order to win Number one, make sure you like this channel. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Number three, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll link it down here, right down here somewhere. And number four, comment on my last post saying done, D-O-N-E. And then I will choose a random winner and I will be DMing them so I can get their address and I will ship out this nice foam cannon I got. So there you have it. The Easy Lip is on the Subaru. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video where I will be showing you how to roll fenders and showing you the end result on this thing. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep moving forward and stay on the gas.